Hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Tales from the road? Well, not so much. We're about to hit the road, but we have our motivation and positivity from the road. And let's start with today being Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th, well, what's wrong with that? Everybody says it's such a bad day. It's a, it's a terrible day. I know if you're a fan of the Garfield comics, Monday the 13th is terrible. That one I kind of get a little bit more, but anyway, I really don't subscribe to any of that stuff where, like, if the if, if this constellation is over here versus this one, then I'm going to have this kind of luck, and if that person was born on that time, and they're this zodiac sign, I'm not compatible with them. I don't buy into those things. I really don't, because otherwise you should know everybody in your life it should be as, as what compatibility range they are to you, business-wise, uh, intimate relationship-wise, whatever. Friday the 13th, though, why is that such a bad day? Was that just because of the horror movies back in the 1980s? Now it's in our head that Friday the 13th and bad things are going to happen. You're going to get chopped up when you go out to the woods. We create these fears in our minds all by ourselves. Now, there might be a little bit of help, like from Hollywood, so Friday the 13th is bad, so put that in your brain. But the number 13 is viewed as bad. Some old houses, they didn't have 13 steps. They made sure, even if it was a bad incline, that they had 12 or 14 just to avoid the 13. Some buildings don't paint the number 1-3 on the wall. It just goes from, um, from floor 11, 12 to 14, 50. It skips 13. I don't get that. Now, here in the West, in our largely Christian uh, religion, the number 666 is a bad thing. What if you live at that address on the 13th floor? Are you really going to come across the portal to another dimension that's evil? I don't think so. We put these fears in our heads. Spiders and snakes, I kind of get because those things can actually do harm to you. Numbers really can't. We put fear in our brain. And remember, fear is an acronym. False expectations appearing real. And a guy named Michael Jordan once said, that never say never, you can overcome your obstacles because limits, just like fears, are illusions.